At Israel's Holocaust Memorial, President Obama declared, we must work for the light, challenge the depravity and barbarism to which man can sink. More a sermon than diplomacy, but that's the style of the man who came to office hoping to change the way America was seen in the world. Obama has shown a passionate respect for their country that is sweet music to Israeli ears, and many like his push for peace. One newspaper declared, love has paid a royal visit. Talk of peace is in the air. For our sons and daughters are not born to hate. They are taught to hate. So let us fill their young hearts with the same understanding and compassion that we hope others have for them. He paid tribute to Zionism at the grave of its modern founder. The new, friendlier approach is already working. At his urging, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has made a surprising apology to his Turkish counterpart. But the new warmth with Israel comes at a price. In 2009, Obama's first big foreign policy speech was in Cairo, the intention to change the relationship between the US and Arabs and Muslims. And this cycle of suspicion and discord must end. Tonight, the president arrived in Jordan, knowing many in the Arab world watched that speech and waited and waited. In this trendy cafe in the Jordanian capital, those I spoke to felt let down, further disillusioned by this visit, which they thought confirmed he was behaving, well, just like an American president. I think he is exactly like all the American presidents that preceded him. Um, his visit came again to reinforce the American position towards Israel, that they are supporters of Israel to the end. I just didn't expect anything to come out of it anyway. Most people, I think, have just lost hope that way. It, it's a shame that politics can make a great person not do great things. In Jordan, there are protests against the government every Friday, nothing to what's happening elsewhere, but Obama's determination not to dictate feels weak to some. If many here argue the previous American president forced his attentions on the Middle East, the region is now forcing itself on President Obama. President Obama's already disappointed many in the Arab world. If he does get peace talks going again, that may be significant. Otherwise, his wholehearted embrace of Israel may only make things worse. Mark Modell, BBC News, Jordan.